you go. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. I mean, Iowa State's going to be a big challenge. Uh, be a big test to um, how composed we can stay and um, how we um, stay with our principles of toughness and discipline. Uh, but ultimately, it's going to be fun. You know, <laughs> Big Four has always been fun for at least me, for the whole team too. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Saturday and seeing what we can do out there. What's maybe the biggest challenge that Iowa State presents? I mean, what have you guys kind of seen on film? Um, I think they're such a skilled and unselfish team. Uh, you know, anyone can put the ball in the hoop and it could be a different guy hurting you any night. So we surely got to lock in and, um, you know, do our job. What do you guys think about the big, uh, the Heidi Classic? You guys have both played in before. Um, what do you think of it as an event? I, I mean, more of a, I mean, outsider's perspective because I, I'm from Wisconsin. I haven't had the Big Four Classic growing up. But, I mean, these past four years, it's always, like I said, it's always been a fun time. It's always uh, something that um, we've enjoyed as a team, always approached each game. Uh, it's a really cool, good challenge for us. Um, well, a, a gut check, if you will, just to see, um, just how you know how composed and how true to our principles we can stay. So, no, I, I I'm, I'm really excited and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, you know it's going to be a great atmosphere. You know the arena will be packed with fans from all four teams and. Uh, you know, it's just a cool thing, you know, to play other teams in the state. It uh, just brings extra, like, a little energy to the game. Uh, maybe both of you can talk about the six and one start, sort of what's been the key behind that. I've found a lot of different ways to win, but maybe what have been two or three things that have enabled that successful start? No, I just, I, I attribute it to just the togetherness of this team. You know, uh, it's it's been a, it's been fun, it, it, but most the, most importantly, it's just been a real give and take with all the players on the team. We all have settled into our roles and uh, we share the ball real well. We um, exhibit toughness on the defensive end, and uh, night in night out, we try to find something that we can improve upon. And um, I, I think that's. That's really been a testament to um, the wins that we've been able to get, and hopefully we can continue that and, like I said, improve every day for it. Uh, yeah, I think um, our coaches and all our teammates have been really good about not being complacent. You know, winning is great, but at the end of the day, we got to improve every game to get to our goal, and that is hopefully to win our conference. and. Um, you know, we just got to keep getting better every day, and I thought that's what's been really helping us to win six out of our seven games so far. And lastly, I guess this begins a stretch of like five games and a little more than a week. So, as, as players, how do you manage that, both preparation-wise, <laughs> mentally and physically, and uh, prepare yourself for that, especially coming off the of finals week? <laughs> yeah, finals week—that's the toughest part of the whole thing. <laughs> um, but. Uh, you know, it's more, I, I would say it's more mental than physical. I mean, obviously, you're going to get your body banged up a little bit, but ultimately, um, you know, win or loss, these next couple games, you got to be able to have a quick turnaround, you know, have a focus on the next one. So, I mean, right now we're 100% uh, devoted to figuring out how we can have a good outing against Iowa State. But, I mean, obviously, after that's over, we have a quick turnaround with SIU. SIUE and then the quick turnaround with Ryder. So um, both teams that are uh, really good. So we just got to figure out uh, how to have that quick turnaround after each game and how to uh, get our minds right. And like Brady said, stay, uh, stay hungry and not get complacent. Yeah, I just think we got to take it game by game. You know, we got some good quality opponents coming up. So just got to really focus on just taking it step by step. Yeah, you guys have both mentioned the, the 
the event itself, the Big Four, is you know always fun and exciting, especially for basketball fans in the state. Um, you guys thought about um, I mean, the fact that it's the last one um, for at least the foreseeable future? I mean, right now we're just focusing on the one we have um, coming up. Um, coming up. Uh, I know, like I said, I've said before, I I like the event. I have a we have a good time, and uh, it's it's good for the fans. I know that people in Des Moines are excited when it comes around. So, I mean, it, if it is the last one for the last foreseeable future, I'm just try to make a good one, I guess. And I mean, there's not much else. I to say about that. Yeah. I mean, you, you've experienced this, I guess, from a couple different sides now. Mm -hmm. uh, but what makes the event so great, and I guess what's what what will be left behind, or what will be missing, I guess, in the future if, if they don't rekindle this? Um, I think what makes it great, like I said, just like the atmosphere of it. You know, we got fans from all over the state coming in, from all four fan bases, and um, you know, it's just cool to just play against other in-state teams and stuff, and. Um, yeah, it's just it was a good event, and um, you know if it goes on, it goes on. But yeah.